Buffalo Bills are clearly, clearly one of the best teams in the AFC, and I don't think that is pretty much, it shouldn't be up for debate because they are clearly, year after year, they're built solid. They've got a franchise quarterback. They've got an offense that's explosive. They've got a good head coach in Sean McDermott. Like, just top to bottom, they are a good team, uh, and I think that they are going to make some noise coming into uh, the, the coming out of the AFC this year, excuse me. And there's actually a lot of uh, a lot of uh, media outlets that actually do favor the Bills uh, in order to either win the Super Bowl or get deep into the playoffs. And I agree with it. I really do because you know I feel like they're in a spot where there is, if you look at the roster, there is very few, if any, types of weaknesses on this roster it it honestly does come down to the fact that uh they're a well put together team and they're a team that honestly is well coached uh and i think that they can go toe-to-toe with anybody anybody it doesn't matter who it is um but i think that just like any team though they do have their own question marks and i do think that is what uh is important to look at especially as we head into and forward and with the season and uh, we're going to jump right into it with the uh biggest questions facing the buffalo bills before training camp heading into training camp if that makes sense so here we go uh these are the five questions headed uh, ahead for the Buffalo Bills uh, going into the 2022 NFL season. This article by Justin DeLauro did a fantastic job uh, and is a guy that I really think, uh, you know, deserves a lot of credit. So, um, you know, uh, and it really, he starts off the article beautifully here talking about, you know, uh, Kevin Dorsey as the new offensive coordinator. Yes, we know that, you know, Brian Dayball did head off to uh, the Giants and is going to try to see if he can salvage um, something with Daniel Jones and the rest of that organization. So, you know, this is Ken Dorsey's first year at the helm as an offensive coordinator uh, with the Bills. Uh, I'm excited for it, though. Because I feel like uh, Dorsey is going to be a guy that, you know, was the quarterback's coach, uh, you know, for the last three seasons under the Bills. I think he can really um, still try to get something and, and, and really uh, form this offense to the best abilities and, and to the best um, to the best strengths of Josh Allen. I think that's what you have to do uh, as a quarterback uh, coach and as an offensive coordinator these days. Because what it really comes down to is the fact is how good does your offense uh, cope with your quarterback strengths. I think that's such a big thing um, heading forward. So uh, I, I'm really excited to see what does come of uh, his first year as the offensive coordinator for the Bills. And I do think that there's a lot of good things uh, coming forward uh, for the Bills. Uh, and I think that uh, Dorsey is going to be a, a big reason for that. And obviously, as I know, Brian Dayball was a big reason as to why they had success, but I'm still excited about it. I can't be excited about it. Come on. Um, so then the next big question, will Jordan Poyer um, suit up in week one or will he be in uniform week one? You know, obviously he's been playing, he had like what, over a 75.5, P- he had over a 70.0 PFF grade last year. Um, one of the better safeties in the entire NFL and has played like it, uh, I believe, you're all, yes, he also earned first team all pro honors. Like he's just a bad man. He's a bad man out there. So he deserves a lot of credit, um, you know, and I think he is going to be a guy that uh, there's going to be some question marks surrounding in terms of, you know, will he show up? He did not attend OTAs, even though he did participate in uh, mini camp. But overall, I, I think that, you know, this is going to be a big question. One of your best defensive uh, players that sets the tone, is he going to be at minicamp? I think that's definitely something you need to keep an eye on. Uh, but I, I do think he will be back in because uh, he does seem like a guy that does honor uh, where he came from. He seems like a good guy all around. Uh, next question, how will the Bills handle the pressure of being the Super Bowl favorite? Now, this one I'm a little on the fence about because let's be real here. Over the last couple of seasons, you have been in, you know, you've been in competing with the Kansas City Chiefs, who by all means are a great team. You know, uh, Patrick Mahomes, they've got some weapons now. Uh, that Well, they've had weapons, but, you know, they've constantly gotten the best of the Bills, and I think I think that time is coming to an end. I think it is. this is finally the year that the Bills are able to stick it to the Chiefs and get over that hump. Uh, and I think, you know, th- there's th- we really need to touch on that because, you know, they were, they were kind of an underdog for these last couple of years, and they're finally to be in this spot where there's actually some media outlets that are putting them as the potential AFC uh, championship winners and therefore Super Bowl contestants. I'm super excited. Super Bowl contenders, that is. So they are, they're certainly Super Bowl contenders. They've got a lot of things going for them, but I'm really excited to see how it all does unfold. But again, I think especially if you're going to go and play the Chiefs, there's some things that you have to answer. So, you know, how will they uh, answer that that calling to being the Super Bowl favorite? I think they will answer that call over well. Another big question, who will lead the way at running back? Now, this one is one of my big, my biggest and favorite questions. So, yes, Devin Singletary um, has been kind of that uh, all-complete back, even though I think, like it mentions, there were only three games in which he had over 20 touches uh, total last year. But, you know, I really think that, uh, you know, a guy, Jay, James Cook is really going to find a way to um, – 
uh, really solidify himself as not only a running back too. I think he's going to be a premier running back in this league one day. I think he's going to be something special. You know, a, a, a pass catching back to start out with, but I think he's going to be a running back you really want to keep your eye on because he's going to be something that's fun to watch. So um, he's definitely a player that you need to keep an eye on, and I think that he's going to be a big, a big part of this Buffalo Bills offense that a lot of people aren't considering. So uh, I'm really excited for it. And then finally, um, what talks about you know who's getting the sacks? You know, obviously they invested in Von Miller. Um, um, this offseason who has 115 sacks in 10 uh, NFL seasons, as I pointed out. So, you know, and yes, they had guys like, you know, uh, Greg Rousseau, Boogie Basham, and all those guys step up last year. Um, you know, I'm really excited for Greg Rousseau and everybody, but, you know, they brought in a, a guy like Miller for one particular purpose, and that purpose is to get after the quarterback. And I can't be more excited because I think he's going to not only teach the younger these younger edge rushers, but I think he's still got a lot left in the tank. He proved it with the Rams that he's still uh, very much a guy that you have to worry about um, in terms of who's going to block him, who's going to be on him. So I'm really excited. I think this was a good signing, I believe. Um, you know, he's going to get the most uh, out of guys around him, like Greg uh, Rousseau, like Boogie Basham, all those guys. So, you know, I'm really excited about the signing, but I think that um, there are a couple of big questions facing the Buffalo Bills, but let's face it, they're in a tremendous position heading into uh, training camp, and they're in a tremendous position as we uh, potentially, potentially get ready to see them in yet another Super Bowl because they are a team that is uh, their rear and, and ready to go. So, um, but that's it. That is our biggest questions facing the Buffalo Bills before, before heading into training camp. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you. Down in the description below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. Give us a like and a follow there. Also, remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about the biggest questions facing the Buffalo Bills heading into training camp.